HP 75C was HP's first portable computer and was released in 1982. It was based on the HP developed Capricorn CPU, which was used in the HP Series 80 desktop computers. The HP 75C came with 16K of RAM. RAM Basic included a real-time clock, appointments and alarms, and a simple text editor. It included a built-in card reader, the front here, and HPIL interface for I.O., which is at the top. And there were also three slots in the front for optional ROM modules. The 75C was a portable computer rather than a pocket computer, as can be seen by comparing its size to the HP 71B pocket computer from 1984 and an HP Voyager calculator. Fourth for the HP 75C was released in 1983 and was derived from the fourth interest group, Fig Fourth, which was adapted for the HP 85 desktop computer and then further adapted for the HP 75C. Fourth was developed in Capricorn Assembler and compiled into a language extension or LEX file. Fourth was distributed on magnetic tape and included a number of different versions and additional software features, most written in fourth, that could be optionally loaded. Here is a list of the fourth Lex file versions and additional features. You can see there are kernel only versions for different memory sizes. Uh, there's a utility option and a debugger. There's also an assembler, disassembler, and an editor for the LCD screen or an external video screen. The first two Lex versions shown will load and run without the optional 8K RAM module with the first being the kernel only and the second preloaded with the utilities and debug words. The video editor uses the assembler to create words that can access HPIL. The video editor also creates fourth words that can be used for cursor control for your own terminal-based programs. The fourth Lex file is loaded and run from RAM and is fully self-contained, including the dictionary, stack and block buffers, as shown in the following memory map. 75C has a 16-bit address space, which is a total of 64K. The RAM 4th Lex file loads into memory and includes the 4th program code, buffers, stack and dictionary. Other programs and files can be loaded into remaining memory space. Text files of 4th words can then be loaded into 4th. The initial Lex file is sized for the default or expanded RAM, the latter supporting the assembler and video editor. You can also start with the kernel only LEX for each RAM size and load the optional features you want or leave more space for your own programs. As the LEX file is self-contained, the state is maintained when you exit and run forth again. You can also back up the LEX file externally via HPIL so you can restore to your preferred state with your own words already loaded when required. And we start forth using the name the selected Lex file was copied to. I've used fourth. And we get the prompt that we're now in HP 75 fourth version one. Unlike many versions of fourth, this version is case sensitive with all kernel and optional words in uppercase. You can define your own words in lowercase if you prefer. Numbers are 16 bit and signed by default. Here are some interactive fourth examples. Enter some numbers, three, four, five, multiply, add, print the result. We get 23 as expected. If we generate a larger unsigned number, we can see how it overflows. So we use 13, 37, 67, 
multiply, multiply, duplicate the result and print it. So we get a large unsigned number there. Then if we multiply that by two, duplicate the result. Now if we print it as a signed number, we'll get the wrong result. We print it as a unsigned 16-bit number, we'll get the correct result. Doubles are supported by including a decimal point in the number and using the appropriate double words. So we can enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, dot to signify it's a double, and then 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 0, dot to signify another double. And then double addition is D plus, and double print is D dot. So we can get a double result of 691,200. Multiplication can generate a double result using mixed multiplication word. So if we enter one, two, three, four, as a normal 16-bit sign number, and then five, six, seven, eight, mixed multiplication, and then double print. We get the result, seven million and something. Unlike the HP 71B fourth, there is no floating point support. However, numbers can include a decimal point, which is removed when entered, but its location is stored in the variable DPL. So this could be used to implement your own rudimentary decimal display and or calculations if required. Give an example of that. We enter 123.45, and then we look up the DPL variable and print it. It'll tell us the position of the decimal point, which is two. Now if we double print that number, no decimal point will be included. It's just a double integer. Words can be manually entered, and here's an example of a simple word to sum squares. So standard fourth syntax, word name, and then the contents of the word. So this is just a loop to sum the squares. I is the loop index, duplicate, multiply, add it to the running tally, loop, display the result, and then finish. So that word's been accepted, and then we can run that word, and we get the result, 2,870. Text output is supported, so we can create a word that uh, outputs some text with the result. So we create a word for cube, duplicate, duplicate, times, times, uh, then a text message saying the cube result is print the result, end of the word into that word and then we can run that word on three and we get the cube is 27. Keyboard input is also supported so we're going to create another sample word called ASCII which will ask for a character and use the key word, built-in word, to get a key from the keyboard. Duplicate it, print it, and then print out a message saying what the numeric value is for that key. And end the word. So then if we run ASCII, asks for a character, 
and to A says A is 65. Run it again. Character uh, Z is 90. Words can also be loaded from screen files by number. A screen file is a text file in the 75 file system with name formatted as SCR NN NNN. And the file is referenced by its number. I've entered the star and stars words in text file SCR00090 as shown. So if we exit forth to view the stars word file that I've already created, we enter edit screen file name. into the editor and then we can see line one has the definition of star which emits ASCII 42 which is asterisk then line two has the word definition for stars which is a loop calling star the number of times entered on the stack we exit the editor now we can go back into fourth and load that text file with the star words defined. So enter the file number 90 and then load. Now we can execute star, which prints a single asterisk and we can use stars. So we go five stars, five, spaces, which is a built-in word, and then another five stars. And it's executed. The debugger traces top-level execution of a word and displays the instruction pointer to return stack entries, the stack and the current word. So to run the debugger, we enter the parameters to the word, so three, then debug, then the word we want to debug. So we'll debug stars. Capturing the output via terminal or printer will make debugging easier. Uh, you could see that there was a, a label of the columns and now you can see two word, star being executed and the loop being continued and you can see the star being printed. and then the completion of the loop and back to the OK prompt. Uh, the output, as I said, is much easier to read on a terminal or printer, which I've shown a screenshot of. The 75C fourth implementation can also run nQueens, which is often used to benchmark calculators. nQueens has already been entered into text file SCR00099, which is loaded and run as follows. So we'll load 99. You can see the program listing I've used displayed now. Once N Queens is loaded, we can execute it with N Queens. And Queens runs in just under 20 seconds for an 8x8 board. This is more than twice as fast as the basic version for the 75C. So when it finishes, it'll print out the uh, positions of the Queens. Which can be seen there. To list the current words, use VList. VList is part of the utilities screen file, so it's not in the minimal kernel only uh, version of fourth, but can be easily loaded. Run VList, and you'll initially see the new words we've created and loaded, and queens, and star, and cube, and so on, and the rest of the words in the kernel, and dictionary. 
Fourth for the 75C is full featured with a large number of standard and add-on fourth words and tools and utilities available. It is very similar to the later released 71B implementation. Fourth is easy to learn and runs quicker than basic. See the description for more information and links to the software and documentation for fourth for the 75C.